watch that live stream, but we hope we'll stay here with us and watch the men. And as the athletes take the stage, the referees for these two bouts have entered the floor and are ready to supervise this competition. Coming up in our in red, Mr. Tom Scott, who has been mentioned several times tonight as an Olympian, handed out some medals, got an award for Athlete of the Year. And he will fight against Jared Smith out of Pennsylvania for the gold medal in the minus 75 kilogram category for the men's kumite. Well, I will do my best not to shout in the middle of this one, but uh, this is gonna be a good match, I'm sure. Might have to turn that microphone down for you a little <laughs> bit, Sensei. <laughs> Jared is the current number two. Tom is the current number one. Uh, when they do face each other, it's always full of mutual respect and uh, good stuff. So coached by national coach, Dustin Baldus. Um, Who was here just Jared a few Smith. minutes ago talking with us. Oh, yeah. And then of course, uh, Brian Nixon coaching Tom Scott. Tom Scott narrowly missing a medal at the Olympics. Three seconds with Ukraine. So his first uh, competing obviously since the Olympics. Very strong showings in the qualifiers up to this final from both of these competitors. Oh yeah, Jared had amazing semifinals. Uh, Tom Scott receiving a beginning, 20 seconds remaining, and the Senchu. And starting off with some of those notorious techniques, that body kick and that jab, both very strong techniques for Tom. Yes. Tom's going to need to keep it together, though. Jared certainly has uh, a large repertoire himself. Nice little offset there from Jared. Good at pulling out. Head kicks that you don't think about. Nice evasion there. Referee panel looks pretty diverse. Got them from Florida to Colorado to California. Tom delivers pretty sharp jab. Jared. Three it. flags on that point. Okay. So we're looking at. 2-0 with Century to Tom Scott right now. And with that Century advantage, Jared will need three points at this point in the match to take the lead. Both coaches still have their video challenge cards. Uh, so obviously they get to keep those video challenges until they make a wrong move. So you can only challenge points if your athletes scored that were missed by the officials. Challenge points scored against. I'm whiffing on some kicks here. Both of these athletes have an incredible reach and an incredib incredible amount of explosive power covering that distance very quickly. Close to about a minute remaining. Uh, both of them actually breathing pretty heavy. I'm uh, kind of surprised. Uh, I know they're both in great shape. It's definitely been a very active match thus far. Neither and the other get much rest. Tom's not out of danger. I still suffer from a head kick that would change the outcome of this match closely. Playing a pretty defensive game. 40 seconds. Still getting those score attempts in there, keeping Jared back. 
Tom needs to uh, get this distance right. And he's, I think he's crowding in a little bit. 38 seconds. Looking in the corner. Jared's pressing to the corner. 23 seconds. Tom needs to play smart here. Uh, all it takes is a nice deep on and it changes drastically. And we're in the last 15 seconds now. And that, that brings us to a win for Tom Scott, who remains the national champion. And both of these athletes, along with the other members of the top six of this category, will compete in January in the team trials to decide the ranking for the 2022 senior national team. Yeah. Neither one of these guys gave their coaches much to protest or video challenge, so not bad at all. Um, you know, obviously full of respect there. I think uh, Jared gives Tom a lot of respect.